The Bear Who Went Boo by David Williams. Read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. At the top of the world lived a very cheeky polar bear. He was only little, but he loved giving the other animals a big fright. Slowly and silently, he would creep up behind them before going boo. The poor creatures would shriek as the little cub would roll around hooting with laughter. The little cub's mama would ask him time and time again, how would you like it if someone went boo to you? But he wouldn't listen. All the little cub longed for was to be big and fearsome like his papa. One morning, a helicopter was spotted in the sky. News spread across the ice that a man was coming to the Arctic to make a television show. The animals were going to be famous. They began making themselves look beautiful for the cameras. A wrinkly walrus wanted to top up his tan. He decided to sunbathe in the nude. The little cub crept up behind the walrus. A uh, boo! Ah! The walrus was so shocked, he kicked up his back flippers. His tusks became skis as he zoomed across the snow. Meanwhile, a platoon of puffins preened their feathers. Time to do boo too. Mm, boo! Startled, the puffins all tried to take flight at once. Wings walloped, beaks bashed, and the poor birds crashed headfirst into an iceberg. Wallop! There was no stopping the little cub now. Next, he sawed a hole in the ice sheet with his paw before diving down into the freezing water below. Time to do an underwater boo. But to who? The little cub spied a pair of killer whales practicing a synchronizing, synchronized swimming routine, ready for the cameras. Boo! The killer whales smashed through the ice sheet, sheet up, up, up into the air. Blub, 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 blub. The first belly flopped onto the ice. Then the more blubbery of the two landed on top of his poor friend. Boing, boing, boing. As the sun was setting over the Arctic, the cheeky little cub spotted a very odd-looking animal he had never seen before. This snowy owl. He couldn't resist one final... Boo! Splash! The poor man leapt backwards and fell in with a giant plop into the sea. No! The water was so cold that when he clambered out, he was encased in a block of ice. The man was furious. His face glowed bright red like a tomato and the ice soon began to melt. In all my years, I have never met such a badly behaved animal. I've had an octopus tickle me, been sat on by a rhinoceros, and once a family of gorillas ate my underpants. But you are the worst. Right, I'm reporting you. Species? Mm, penguin, like fibbed the little cub. You are not a penguin. Penguins live in the Antarctic, not the Arctic. Okay, polar bear. Yes, and a tiny one at that. Well, you have ruined it for all the other animals. I'm not making my television show here now. What? I'll go to the Antarctic and make one about penguins. People like penguins. Penguins are nice. As the little cub watched the helicopter leave, all the animals gathered. Now they were going to miss their moment of fame. It's time to teach that little bear a big lesson. That night, the little cub trudged slowly back home. But as he entered his snow cave, boo! The little cub's fur stood up on end as if he'd been hit by a bolt of lightning. Mama Bear was right. He didn't like it one bit. The little cub had learned a big lesson. From that moment, he promised never, ever to go boo again. Well, maybe one last time. Boo! If you enjoyed this book, we've got lots more David Williams and lots of other books that we'd love to share with you too. Love you.
Please hit subscribe below. Now